the YouTube. Today we are going to have a look at a special knife. Uh, so I grabbed a cup of coffee and let's have a look at the V617A. This one I like very much. Uh, it is my most expensive knife so far. Uh, I haven't got any knives uh, more than half that price. So of course I was expecting uh, something a little extra for the money. It is a, a birthday present for myself, so happy birthday to me. <laughs> uh, well, actually it was on the 5th of January, but uh, anyway. So we're going to have a look at this one. And I'm not going to do a uh, you know, uh, full-blown review. Just a few points to tell you why I like this knife very much already. If we start at the tip, you can see. It has a harpoon edge and a very nice uh, black satin black finish with some satin, what do I call it, polish up here. And the little and very discreet uh, Wii logo here. And then a lanyard back here. What I like about this knife is. If I can make it focus. What I like about this knife, and especially since it is a black blade, is that there's absolutely no, absolutely no writing on the blade. So the blade is absolutely pristine. The only writing is, I don't know if I can make it focus. inside here you may be able to see that in here it says D2 which of course is the steel of the knife well I just turned off a bit more light sorry turned off a bit more light and you might be able to see that it says D2 in here very discreetly you can still see it but you don't notice it either in closed or open condition and so the only thing on the knife saying about the, uh, talking, uh, mentioning the brand is of course this little logo here and very nice hardware by the way uh, titanium pocket clip D10 handles sorry G10 handles and yeah very nice. Now, what this one was uh, a part of a group by organized by I will call him my friend, uh, knife collector zero thirty one of uh, the Netherlands, uh, Henk who organized the group by and um, we got it a bit cheaper and I even got a nice cap which I should have brought here but never mind I forgot um, so what this one is sort of a budget Wii it's not a budget knife but it's sort of a budget Wii knife um, and what is it that you don't get if you buy this 617 well uh, this blade steel is a bit uh, um, it's not the finest it's Tito it's absolutely okay but normally the Wii knives come in this 35 VN or M390 so they saved a bit there and the handles are usually titanium anodized often well 
when you get a new knife and it is as I said the most expensive one you've ever bought you can't help but compare it to some other knives that you have so what is it that makes this one that much more expensive uh, and uh, does it pay off well you know uh, I have a few points that makes a knife good for me uh, that would be since I buy a lot from the internet and, and uh, I look at pictures first, well, aesthetics and looks are of course important. But uh, when you get it in hand, uh, well, what's, what makes a knife good? I think <laughs> it, it speaks for itself that you have to have a knife with some sharpness. And this one is extremely sharp. I've not had very much luck with uh, showing uh, paper cutting and so on <laughs> on videos, so I, will, I won't do that. I will just assure you that this one is screaming sharp. So um, why did I put take all these knives with me? Well, if uh, any of these, especially these three, they they kind of came sharp as well and. F Amazingly enough, this Y start from um, from China uh, was amazingly sharp right out of the out of the box. Then perhaps uh, some other little issues. Uh, I look at sturdiness, and this one. The Mr. Blade HD2 would be a very good example of sturdiness. Um, I look at ergonomics. And I could take this Mr. Blade again and this one is a Y start. And last but not least, uh, the the Real Steel HT 101 Thor, which is very good in hand. Um, so each of these knives tick some of the boxes that I think describes a good knife. Um, I thought of action as well, which in all of these are very good, but still, well, this one for instance, this is the real steel Sea Eagle E771. I just had to take it apart and give, give it a bit of a lubrication and then it was very smooth. So what makes the more expensive knife better? Well, it takes a lot more boxes of these. It is very, in my opinion, my eyes very good looking. Uh, I have a problem focusing today, but I'll try. It is very good looking. It is feels completely sturdy in your hand, although it is not nearly as heavy or hefty as this HD2. It has Phenomenal economics, no matter how you hold it in hand. Uh, and the action. And yeah, that's okay. That's more than okay. I can actually, with, this is something I normally can't do. I can flip it with either hand easily because it has just the right amount of detent, with, which is, of course, also part of the action. Uh, and the smoothness. This is largely out of the box. But I've, of course, played a little bit with it, but it is largely out of the box. <coughs> Sorry. It is uh, ridiculously smooth, as is this one, with a bit of lubricating, and uh, the real steel saw, 
with a bit of breaking mm. and uh, the HT2 was is amazingly smooth as well which to some part uh, is of course because of a very heavy blade so what I was trying to say is that all the good things in all these four uh, are somehow combined into one in the screen knife it just it just ticks all the right boxes as I said before um, just a few boring uh, figures it is roughly 10 centimeters blade which is 3.97 inches it is the weight is 146 grams which would be 5 5.1 inches inches sorry uh, and it feels so good in your pocket it, this is the sort of knife that's just sits in your hand right the right weight the right length everything to me anyway just feels right about it uh, fit and finish please focus well The blade is perfectly centered and the whole surface of the knife is smooth with a little bit of what do I call it, a very very fine uh, grind so that you had a, have a little bit of grip on it and I have a titanium pocket clip which is nice and a magnet it really is titanium and a titanium backspacer and this is also titanium uh, just to make sure that the magnet works yeah <laughs> have a nice day well so this is without a doubt my most treasured knife at the moment uh, you know perhaps I'll get more expensive knives sometime but uh, right here and now this is really the top of my collection and uh, I'm so excited about it What you, what I have to consider uh, is, of course, that it's like many other hobbies. I have been, um, I've been um, into uh, audio and hi-fi uh, equipment, and it is about the same thing. Uh, if you really want the last few percent of, to get the best of the best, well, that's where it's going to cost you. So, although I would like very much one of the titanium scale um, Wii knives, I realize that this one is probably a very good example of what Wii knives can achieve. Um, I forgot to mention that it is on ceramic ball bearings, uh, and that is of course what it makes it so smooth. Uh, I like this video a lot, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I like this knife a lot, and we are approaching 10 minutes, so I would like to say have a nice day, evening, wherever you are in the world, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, if you like what you saw, bye bye.